bridging the gap between Minecraft Java and Bedrock Edition. While it might sound like a dream, it is 100% possible with a Minecraft plugin called Geyser MC. This plugin has become so popular over these last couple of years, and I've actually made a video about it before, but it is old and a little outdated, and I just think I can do better. So today, I'm gonna give you a detailed guide on how to set up Geyser MC on your own Minecraft server and how you can get it all working. Make sure to subscribe if you've not done so yet. So the very first step to getting Geyser MC working on your own Minecraft server is actually installing Geyser MC. Now, I will leave a link to this website in the description down below. Simply go there, then navigate to download in the top right. And over here, you will see two download links. We got Geyser and Floodgate. What is Floodgate and do you need it? Well, yes. Floodgate is basically the plugin that makes it so Bedrock players can join your Minecraft server without having to log in to a Java Edition account. So if you only install Geyser MC, then every single Bedrock player still needs a Java account to join. Now, obviously, the reason you want Geyser MC is so that Bedrock Edition players can join that don't have a Java account. So installing Floodgate is really important. Something I also want to point out is that you can install Geyser MC on a lot of different servers. You can install it on a standalone paper or spigot server, but also on Velocity or Waterfall slash Bungie Cord or even Fabric. The installation process will be 100% the same. So if you run a Minecraft network like for example Velocity, you can install this plugin in the same way I'm about to show you but instead of installing it on a paper server, you just install it on your proxy. So on your Velocity or Bungie Cord server. Don't install Geyser MC on your backend servers, only the proxy. All right, with that being said, I'm gonna download both Geyser and I'm gonna download Floodgate. And then you wanna drag both of those jar files into the plugins folder of your Minecraft server. Then give your server a little restart. But something that is very important to note right now is that your Minecraft server needs to support the newest version of Minecraft. Now, supporting the latest version of Minecraft is not the same thing as running the latest version of Minecraft. Because you can totally get away with running an older Minecraft server version and just installing VIA version on your Minecraft server. So for those unfamiliar with VIA version, it is a plugin you can install on your server that allows newer versions to connect. So as an example, let's say you're running a 1.19 server and you install VIA version. Then every single Minecraft client that is running a version between 1.19 and 1.20.4 is able to join your server. So so while your server is not running 1.20.4, it is supporting 1.20.4. And because of that, Geyser MC will work. If you want a more in-detail tutorial on VIA version, I've made a full video about this plugin and I will leave it linked as a card on this video so you can check it out for yourself. Okay, now let's continue on actually setting up Geyser MC. You want to go to your Minecraft server directory and then enter your plugins folder. And inside of here, you should see two brand new folders, Geyser Spigot and Floodgate. Now we're actually going to enter the Floodgate folder first, because in the Floodgate folder, there's a very important file and it is called key.com. Pem. And this file, we're gonna copy and paste. So I'm simply gonna download it real quick. Then I'm going back to my plugins folder, but this time I'm gonna enter Geyser Spigot. And inside of this folder, I wanna upload the key.pem folder. And that's it. <laughs> Floodgate is successfully installed. So by doing this and rebooting your server, you make it so that Bedrock players no longer have to log in to a Java Edition account to join, which is Exactly what we want. Now next, we're gonna open up the config.yml file. And inside of the config, you wanna look up line 19. Now currently, the port is set to 19132, which is the default port for Bedrock Edition. The thing is, you're most likely hosting your Minecraft server at a Minecraft server hosting company. Like for example, Alienhost, who is a partner of my channel. I've been hosting a Minecraft server at them for a big while now. And if you wanna check them out for yourself, there will be a link in the description down below 
And make sure to use code CASASORA at checkout for a whole 20% off your order while supporting me along the way. But anyways, at your hosting company, you probably have a tab called Network. And inside of there, you can see your own allocations. So allocations are basically the ports you have available. You can see that my default port is 25566. This is the port that Java players need to use to get into my server. And to use the default Bedrock port, you would need that port available here. And there's a big chance you don't have it. So even when I create a new allocation, you can see I will just get a random one. In this case, 25624. So I can decide to use this one for Bedrock. So I can paste that port in over here. But what if you don't have access to any extra ports? You're at a hosting company that only allows you to have a single allocation. What do you do? Well, there is the clone remote port option at line 23. And this option makes the Bedrock port the same as the Java port every time you start your server. So let's just do that. Let's set it to true and let's click on save content. And then when you open Minecraft Bedrock Edition and you click on add server, you're able to add your server over here. So the name is gonna be subscribe, which you should definitely do. Then the server IP is gonna be this, but the port 25566 that we wanna fill in over here, 255. Now, of course, if you have access to the default Bedrock Edition port, make sure to use it. It makes the experience so much better, as you don't have to change the port here at all, but you only have to fill in the server address and the port will already be right for you. So it's gonna fill in my Java port here, click on save, and now you can see when I click on join server, I'm actually able to get in. Look at that! Where are my Minecraft server? I got some cool tools here. Life is so fun. <laughs> It is great. Now, something you will immediately see inside of your console is that for some reason, there's a dot in front of my name. Well, the dot is there because I'm a Bedrock Edition player. Though, this is something you can customize along with some other settings. Because while a lot of people think that Java and Bedrock Edition are the exact same games, they're actually quite different from each other. And both games have some features that the other game doesn't. So when we go back to the Geyser MC folder inside of our plugins folder, we're gonna open the console config.yml file once again. And inside of this file, there are more settings to change. So for example, you can change the MOTD. This is the text that will appear inside of your server list on Bedrock, not on Java. Then we can scroll further down. Here we got some remote settings that in most cases you don't have to change. But after line 118, you're starting to see some options that you might want to customize. So allow third-party capes. So those are capes from, for example, Optifine, Shoot they be visible for Bedrock players. Same thing goes for third-party ears, if that's something you're into. <laughs> then here we got show coordinates. Should coordinates be shown to Bedrock players? And then here, the very interesting stuff. So disable Bedrock scaffolding, where their Bedrock players are blocked from performing their scaffolding style bridging. For those who don't know, in Java, we bridge like this. Is it slow? Yes. Is it annoying? Also, but this is how we bridge in Java. And this, this is how we bridge on Bedrock. You can see, this is a lot easier. But it's also unfair, because Java players are unable to do this. So if you, for example, want a minigame like Bad Wars on your Minecraft server, then giving Bedrock players this unfair advantage might not be something that you want. So in that case, you can disable it. Then over here, we also have an offhand workaround. So for those who didn't know, an offhand item is very normal in Java, but not possible in Bedrock. But there's a workaround, because if you set this to emote and offhand, as soon as Bedrock players perform an emote, it will swap the offhand and main hand items. So once again, if you don't want any of the versions to have any unfair advantage, you might want to tweak this. And we got way more settings like this. So should custom skulls be allowed? Well, probably yes. Should above Bedrock nether building be enabled, yes or no? This is of course possible on Java, but it's not possible on Bedrock. So if you want your Bedrock players to be able to build above the Bedrock in the nether, you need to set this to true. Do keep in mind, if you set it to true, it will freak up your nether biomes. So it says here, the main downside to this is that the entire nether will have the same red fog, rather than a different fog depending on the biome. 
to keep that in mind. Setting this option to true will also impact your Java players, because their nether will start to look very boring. So it is a trade-off you have to make. Now then, should Xbox achievements be unlockable? You can do that, but it will also make it so that Bedrock players will be completely unable to perform any commands in game so probably not something you want to enable but hey who knows and those are pretty much the most important settings to change over here just make sure to click save content after changing everything now if you want to change the dot in front of bedrock edition players names you can do that in the floodgate config file so over here right at the start username prefix now having a dot might seem like the best option but there is a big downside if you use lookworms on your minecraft server then you're not able to change groups for bedrock players because lookworms doesn't like you using a dot so for that instance you might want to change it to another symbol now for the rest there's not that much interesting stuff here it is mostly about the prefix <laughs> that's mostly where you want to access this file for and that is going to be everything for today i really hope you enjoyed watching if you did don't forget to smash that subscribe button you would help me out so much by doing that you actually would also a massive thank you to my channel members for the incredible support thank you guys so much i really appreciate it and then i'll see you in the next one bye bye